Hello everyone, I'm back with a little haul video here. I um, wanted to show you some stuff before most of this stuff gets listed. So much stuff lately I've been buying and it hasn't made it into the hauls. I just want to just keep moving and stay ahead of fourth quarter. And unfortunately for you guys, it doesn't show up unless it shows up in a sales video. So wanted to try to capture some of this. I'll hopefully have another clip here too on the back end with some more stuff that I bought. But I wanted to show you what I have. It's not everything, so definitely if you are watching my videos, I encourage you to watch the sales ones because they will have, you know, the proof, so to speak. The proof is in the pudding what actually sold, but also some stuff that may have not made in here may show up there, if, especially if it sells so quickly. Um, it's worth taking a look at. So we'll start off with the clothes. I went to a thrift store by my, my job. Um, I still work at the same company, but I'm in the field now, so I have a company car and everything, and... I don't get to be in this area as much, but I happened to be up there last week to do some stuff and hit my favorite thrift store, and it paid off. I'll be up there this coming week, too, so hopefully I can uh, stop there again and find some stuff. Uh, a Duluth Trading, brand new with tag, extra large, 8 bucks, paid up for it, no discounts there, it's a Goodwill. They have the best clothing there, though. They, almost every time I go, I find good quality stuff, and sometimes I've hit some huge home runs. Uh, my friend that used to, well, she still thrifts, but she likes the girl stuff. She found um, some ladies Salvatore Ferragamo shoes, two pairs for like twenty five a piece, and she sold one for like one fifty and one for like one thirty or something one day. And on the same day, I had found a whole like three bags full of stuff. So this is pretty small for what I found there, but still cool. I uh, do trading eight bucks. Usually, I get about twenty five ship for these anyways. Um, if I just wait out. This one's brand new, so I know with this time of year that I'll at least get the 30 mark. So probably more than that, probably 35 if I can list it right and find the right person. Uh, no damage on it. It's a little wrinkled, but we'll get that straightened up, and then we'll list it. This one's not listed yet. If you don't know this brand, you're missing out. Cool. Two pairs of pants. You can see right there. Uh, these were 8 bucks as well. Um, everything I bought there was 8 bucks. Usually, they've actually upped their prices a little bit. There's kind of the logo to remember. Um, no real signs of damage. These ones are a size, a uh, good size too, 4032. So I paid eight bucks for those and these cool ones right here. Notice the pun. They're 3830s, um, right there. Again, no damage. Pretty cool. Um, these ones, I don't, I haven't even had, had them in a while. Probably it's been four or five months since I had my last pair of cool um, clothing of any kind, um, the pants even longer. So usually I would get at least 40 for those. Sometimes you can get like 50 or 60, depending on what you have. So I'll get those up. They're not listed either, but they're going to go up here uh, this weekend. Um, from a different thrift store, I picked up who let the frogs out. It's a shirt from 2004. I looked up, um, some of these shirts like this, Senor Frogs. Some of them actually were selling for like 13, 14 bucks. I picked up this one because it's got the motorcycle, the choppers on there. So for some reason, somebody just, this, I feel like someone's going to come in and want to pay 15 bucks for this. It was only two bucks at the thrift. Um, I don't mind paying two bucks on a decent, you know, t-shirt taking a chance on it because a lot of times I'll find that, um, you know, I can make that 15 buck mark. Even if I took a $10 offer, I'd still make money, but I'll probably list it more like 22, 23 or best offer. Hopefully I could get even more than 15, but 15 in the beginning would be what I'd take to get out of it. But it looks pretty cool with the frogs on there. Uh, the other item from that thrift store that I go to by my work were these SAS women. I think they're women's. Um, maybe they're guys. I don't know. Um, tripad comfort um, sandals. Uh, there's kind of the mark on there. They're 10 and a halfs. Um, I guess in theory, I don't know. I think they're got to be ladies, but maybe a guy would wear this. I don't want to judge anyone. Um, they were in the guy section. Uh, they were eight bucks. Um, this brand, I, it's really SAS. It's San Antonio Shoes, I think is what it's called. But um, I just call them SAS. I don't know if that's how they actually pronounce go by though. But these were in good shape. Um, usually I find the men's like black ones. Um, you'll see them a lot. They'll probably come up in a sales video. I have a couple right now list and they usually sell pretty quick. Um, these ones were eight, I think probably 30 to 40 on these. And, you know, some were selling for like 23 shipped on bids and stuff like that. But with shoes, you unless you got something really rare, you really should just list a price or list a high and best offer. Um, just to find the right person who just wants, especially with this kind of shoe, this like comfort one, they want the specific shoe, they'll pay up for it. So 
I'm happy with eight bucks. They are in really good shape. You can tell. I don't even know how much they were worn. They look pretty good. Um, so I was happy with that. Some other shoes I found. These are Snowland. I don't know if you guys can see Snowland. They're like definitely vintage. You can see it's got some staining though. They were five bucks at a um, uh, garage sale. You know, everything's still good. I mean, they're definitely got a little bit of wear, but they're not like pushing through or anything. There's some staining on the front. But for five bucks, I picked them up. Again, comps are everywhere. You'll see them as low as like 25 shipped. Then you'll see some that are like 40 shipped, 45 shipped. I listed mine at like 50 or 55 or best offer, free shipping. I'm looking for probably 40. If I could get 40, I'd be happy. But with the, they're kind of a little bit worn. I'd probably end up taking 35, maybe even 30, because I can still make over $10 on them. So they look cool, though. Uh, my wife kind of liked them as well. Um, these are, this is like a little stocking I got. It's uh, $3. It's a Eeyore Disney Store one. Um, I usually do well on Disney Store um, stockings. This one, um, I don't know if something's supposed to be here or not. It's where the sound comes out when you push the little button in here. So I don't know if it's just open there, so like maybe it's not muffled or whatever. I have no idea, but it was three bucks. It does work, the sound and everything. Um, I think I'll probably get like twenty on him, maybe a little more. But for three bucks, that's a good deal. This ink right here was all with a printer at a garage sale. Um, one's expired next year, I think, and one already expired this month. And then the other one's from 2016, and it's missing one. Uh, the other two are sealed. It was on a printer that said 20 bucks for this with the printer. These inks in particular go all over. You'll see them as low as like 25 shipped, 20 shipped. Then you'll see some going for 50 shipped. It's usually based on the expiration. The ones that aren't expired will go for a lot more. The ones that expired are going for a lot less. But I told the lady that I didn't really want the printer, which she sold the ink separate. And she's like, no. I said, well, I'll give you 10 for the for the printer and the ink, I don't really need the printer. And then she said, well, I'll take 10 for the ink, but I'll keep the printer. And I was like, okay, so I guess you will split them up. Um, so it worked out, paid 10. I'll probably end up getting like 50 to 75 for these. I listed them high, um, just real quick to see if I'll get like a nice $85 for them, if someone will come in and pay a lot. But I'll probably have to lower, I'm guessing, you know, to get rid of them, but I only paid 10. So look out for the ink. Uh, sealed stuff is better, obviously, if it's, not expired, as you can see right there. Hopefully December 2018. Um, even better, but even expired stuff does sell. So, uh, video game stuff got a whole bunch of it. I don't. Most of it's not shown here. The guy I buy video games from I bought 180 dollars worth of systems. Um, one of them was his Game Boy Color. Most of the stuff I he sends me pictures and I buy kind of sight unseen. Um, he just shows me a couple pictures and I don't get to actually test anything out. I should say in person. Um, and I agree to it and then I come pick it up. I'm sure if I had an issue like I do have with this one, I could bring it back to him and he would give me the money. He's done that before on some jerseys that I bought, but um, it's it, he usually gives me such a good deal on everything that I, and I make enough money where I don't usually bug him about one or two systems if they're jacked up. Um, this is a Game Boy Color. I paid 15 with about five or six games, original ones. They'll go most of those will go for like eight to 15. So there's already enough money for me right there. The Game Boy works, but the sound is broken. You always want to test on your systems and make sure the sound um, works because that is someone's going to test it and find that out and want to do a return. Um, it'll still probably go for like 20 shipped even with the damaged sound it, every, since everything else works. So that's cool. Some video games I pulled out of the system lots that I bought from him. Um, this Herswag Sway or Zway. I think this game goes for like 40 bucks, 45 bucks, pretty rare. So that's pretty good. That came out of a $25 Genesis lot. With this, Separation Anxiety, this is uh, one with Spider-Man and Venom and everything. This one goes for, um, I think, like 30 Double Dash goes for like 40 45 and so does Mario Party 6. So those all came, each system I buy is 25 bucks, and the consoles are 15, the handhelds are 15 So I bought a GameCube for 25 and it came with these and a couple other games, and then um, the system itself. So that's easy money right there. I've already made, whoops. Man, I always drop something. I always make like on these ones with the good GameCube ones. You know, that'll be 150, 160 bucks in sales from the $25. Same with the Genesis. Uh, I'll probably get like over 120 for that $25 purchase. So good stuff there. Uh, Game Boy Advance SP. This came with a bunch of stuff at a garage sale. Um, I always recommend you guys ask people um, 
if they have certain things you're looking for. For me, that ends up being, um, sorry, I'm looking for something else while I'm over here. Where did I put that? Oh, right here. Um, it's always good to ask because um, a lot of times there's still stuff inside. So I saw a bunch of baby clothes, and some people wouldn't even waste their time stopping at a sale like that. Um, because, you know, who wants to waste time for baby clothes? But um, maybe there's money there, I don't know. But usually um, there's not. So um, I always ask, so while I'm there, hey, you got any video games? And he pulled out all this stuff. Um, one more game is missing here. It's a bit Bomberman 64. But I paid 50 bucks for all this stuff right here and then Bomberman. Banjo's like 30, 25, 20 for Bomberman. The Game Boy works, but the power is a little bit messed up, but I can fix that. That'll go for 40. Heart Gold goes for like 50, and Pokemon probably only goes for like 12. So that was a good deal there, and I think I had a couple other junky Game Boy games that aren't worth anything. Okay, guys, I'm back. Sorry, there was a little break in the video there. My son called. So I uh, was talking to him, so that was cool. I don't think I got to this. This is a Nintendo 3DS. Paid 20 bucks at, excuse me, Goodwill. It's like the Mario one. Pretty cool. They didn't have the charger. I still haven't tested it yet. Um, but it looks pretty clean. Um, if it does work, I usually get like 75 to 80 for these. So I was going to pick it up for 20. If it's broken, I'm sure it probably sells for 25 ships. So I'll get most of my money back. So we'll see how we do there. These are a bunch of chiropractic books, which is interesting for the profession I'm in. I deal with chiropractors sometimes. Um, but found all these. They were three bucks a piece at a thrift store. Um, one's already sold. Actually, one guy offered me 30 for each of them. I paid, obviously, 12 um, But some of them go for, like, 40 plus. just depends on the right person. And then this one right here had sold for 90 And the other ones are listed for, like, 200 So... Um, I declined them. I declined the hundred. This one for thirty. I um, countered on those ones with sixty because I had them listed at like seventy. Um, I really was hoping to get about forty-five a piece for the not so good ones. Um, he countered with forty on one of them and then declined the other ones. But since sales were pretty slow, I accepted the forty. So we'll see if he ends up paying for it. He hasn't paid yet. It's been a little while. Um, about 40 bucks for a $3 book investment is awesome, but hopefully this one will be the good one. So just some old books there. Here's some sh Schleich, I think, or Schleich, I don't know. Um, I mean, probably can't even see that, but S-C-L, um, uh, was it E-I-C-H, I think it is. Um, this is a dinosaur and this whole bag of animals. I uh, paid 20 bucks for all of it. They wanted a dollar a figure. I ended up paying about 50 cents. Um, this guy, I think I can get like 15 for by himself. So that'll make most of my money back. This dinosaur does pretty well. And then I listed all the rest in a big lot. Honestly, I probably still overpaid, but I was buying some other stuff, and I just kind of threw this in there. Um, but you can see it's like 25 figures. There's polar bears, there's zebras, a little tiger family, and some farm animals. I listed them all in one big lot. You probably, I probably could have parted them out for 10, 8 bucks or made little sets, but time-wise was just kind of a pain to, to do that. So I listed them all for like, what is it, 85 actually, not 75, or best offer. Probably would take like 60 on them shipped, and then 60 plus the 15 here would be worth it for me. So we'll see. If not, and they don't sell, I'll just start parting them out into little groups, and I'll make my money back that way. So... Uh, some CDs, they're like uh, children's worship faith CDs by the Kids Own um, and Faith Weaver. So, um, about 10 bucks for all these. They're actually a couple of duplicate ones, so I pulled them out and made a separate set. Um, I kind of rubber banded the ones that are all together. Um, I just, I've done well on children's worship. I sold some children's worship cassettes before, twice now. I paid like a quarter a piece for them, and then one time I think it was even less than that. And I sold like 10 of them for like 45 bucks once, and then another set for like 30 for even less uh, number of cassettes. So I figured these would do well. There's not really much to go on on eBay and Amazon either. Someone's got one listed of these that's brand new for 28 ships. Someone's got one listed for $6 used. Um, I'm hoping to get like maybe 50 plus on the one set and maybe 25 on this if that happened for 10 bucks i'd be all over it but i might get even more you know because there isn't much out there so it's just going to take the real right buyer uh, these are some shoes g defy which i think stands for gravity defy or something like that 
They're 15 bucks. I looked them up and sometimes you'll see these things and they'll go for like um, 75 bucks, 85 bucks. Some of them are sold and some are selling for like 35 plus shipping, 30, 25 plus shipping. So it's again all over the place. They were 15 from a lady. She was trying to make some money and she kind of suckered me into them. Um, I offered her 10 and she said, no, you know, I really need money to pay my bills or whatever. And I just was like, fine, I'll take them for 15. So really, I should still be stronger as a reseller to, to not pay that. But I guess she just got the best of me. Um, they're not in horrible shape. I mean, you look at the bottoms, they're definitely dirty, but no like glaring signs of wear where you're like, oh, I wouldn't wear these. Um, they don't actually look that bad in my opinion. There is some staining to the white cloth part there. So we will... Um, Try to clean them up, get a toothbrush out, you know, wipe them down, get them clean, a little magic eraser, and um, hopefully we'll probably list them high, you know, 75 or best offer, and try to get like 60 shipped on them, 55 shipped. If we get that, you know, with pirate ship on the cubic shipping rate, we'll do fine on the shipping and we'll make plenty of money, so. And then lastly, a Sony DVD uh, VCR recorder, the SLV2 or dash D281P. It was 10 bucks. Couldn't pass it up because it came with everything. Guy says it works. I haven't tested it. It sure looks pretty clean. Just some scuffs on the top, but the inside looks good. Obviously, they kept the, you know, the instructions and the remote and everything, so that's a good sign. Some people ask me, should I buy combos or not? Really, I think the answer is still up in the air. I mean, some people are making great money, but then you hear others who just keep buying ones that are broken. You get returns. You get people switching out parts, all kinds of stuff. Um, if you are selling them, one of the best things to do is take great pictures, get the serial number, possibly do some kind of, um, some people have like little pieces of tape or stickers you can put on for anti-tampering, stuff like that. Do whatever you can and make sure your pictures are detailed, especially with serial numbers and everything, because that does probably make you at least less likely to get, um, to get burned by someone trying to replace or swap on you. It could still happen, but you know, they're probably looking for the easiest candidate there. Uh, secondly, the ones I buy are ones that comes with remotes usually, unless it's by itself and it's just the comps are just crazy even by itself. Um, I found ones without remotes take a little longer to sell. Um, and also the benefit to buy them with the remote is if the system doesn't work and the remote does work, you can still sell the remote hopefully and comp some of that loss. So rather than paying 10 bucks and losing 10 and having nothing, because they don't, they're not really worth selling for parts most time because you have to sell them so cheap, the shipping is not worth it there. But, um, if you have a remote, you can still sometimes make, you know, 10, 15, 20 bucks on a remote, depending which one it is, sometimes still profit or at least get some of your money back. So, and also ones that do work with remotes are usually sell a lot quicker for me just because they're kind of the complete set. So that's how I'm handling it. Looking for ones with remotes. Um, I've kind of said why. And um, when you're taking pictures, just make sure you're taking as many as possible. Definitely the serial number, anti tampering stickers if you have them. There's plenty of videos out there, I think, showing that. Um, I think even, um, who was it? Might be Andy. Parrothead Picker, I think, ha does that for some of his electronics. I want to say it's him. Um, you probably know him if you watch his videos, but other people do it as well. Um, so keep an eye on those. There's still money there, but I understand, you know, if you're not wanting to deal with that, it makes perfect sense because there's plenty of reasons not to sell them. But hope you guys enjoy it. Hopefully there'll be another clip added on here with some other stuff that hey everyone this will probably be the last part of a haul um right here this is mostly stuff that i bought from the storage unit guy i buy from he does sales on sunday so i go up there periodically um all you see here i piled up he doesn't really have prices on anything i just make a huge pile and then we kind of negotiate on a price he is a little bit um more of a stickler on some of the pricing you know you can't get stuff for dirt cheap and honestly i still think if i was coming in and buying stuff individually you, know, you might get stuff for real cheap but he knows i'm a reseller and i buy enough stuff so i gotta pay up a little bit for things but let me know what you guys think if it was a good deal or not so everything you see here was 90 dollars. he asked 100 for it he usually asks 100 or 120 and by the way my son's in the background you might hear him kind of talking he's behind me um my seven month old, he's trying to be a part of the video. So if you hear him, don't mind him. Um, so he usually is, his price is usually 100, 120, 150. He starts at some blanket price. Every once in a while, we're way off. 
you know, because he just looks at the number of items and sometimes he's like, oh, that's, you know, 150. And I'm like, no way, like we're way off. So we've always been able to come to an agreement, but um, I paid nine, I ended up getting this for 90. So I got $10 off what he wanted. So in the comments, if you think it was a good deal, let me know. Um, I wanted to get this included because one thing already sold. This is a Polaroid SX70 uh, Model 2. You can see it's trashed on the cover there. I sold it for 40 shipped. Honestly, probably could have got 50 for it if I really waited, but I was just trying to get it out here before the end of the year. So that already sold for 40. Um, they come in different kinds. They have one that's like a brown leather, and there's like a black one too. But look out for these. They fold flat. I've opened this one up. Um, let me see if I can do it for you guys. There we go. So they kind of fold flat. Oops. There we go. Like that. So look out for them. Um, sometimes if they're not opened up, people don't realize they're cameras, but they sell really well. The brown leather one does really well. I think I used to, if it's in good shape, I used to get almost 100 for that one. Um, two Polaroids. So those were thrown in there. Haven't even listed them yet. I was hoping I'd find a couple more and list them because I get those 28 shipped from Retrospect. Also found this Polaroid. It's a Spectra, but it's a Polaroid Onyx. And you can like see inside. It's super cool. Never seen one of these before, but these do pretty well. Someone sold one for like 35 shipped with for parts. Others went for like 40 shipped, 50 shipped. So I'm going to hope to get 40 or 45 for this one. So that's pretty cool. Um, here's a Modern Warfare 3 controller for 360. Doesn't have the dongle or the dongle, the uh, battery pack. But I get battery packs periodically with all the video game stuff I buy. So I'll just try to find one that works. I can probably get like 15 bucks for that. Uh, this looks like it's a pretty rare game, the Sultima Second Trilogy. It's an IBM game. Um, it's kind of like tape shot on the bottom. It's not brand new. It's got all the discs in there, the map and everything. I honestly think that will get me... Some people have listed for like 150 I think it's probably more like a 50 to 100 somewhere in there. So that's pretty cool. Here's a glove. It's a Wilson. It's an A1000. Really, you want the A2000s. On, those ones are a little bit better, but... This one still, I hope, would get 25 or 30 in time. A couple of remotes here that I just threw into the pile. I always just kind of grab them when I'm there if they look decent. And I don't even look them up, just throw them into the pile. It doesn't charge me much for those, I figure. Here's a Tiki mug. It's by Tiki Farm 2003. This one not worth a whole lot, maybe 20 or 25. But look out for Tiki mugs. Some of them can go for like 50, 60 bucks. And old hotel Tiki mugs, like from the... 60s i think they are they can do really well like hundreds of dollars for them i think last time i checked um two dewalt drill chargers i pick these up all the time uh, these are the nine uh, 116 ones dw9116 they always sell for about that 20 to 25 range um, and i have a battery i keep around to plug it in to see if they work and then we have a bushnell pin seeker this is a golf range finder this sells for about 50 bucks. It does work, so I threw that in there. And then a princess, um, I think it's called a princess phone, that was thrown in there as well. So I'll probably hopefully get 40 bucks on that. So I think in the end I'll definitely make good money, especially if the Ultima, you know, if I get closer to 100 on that, then everything's real good. Um, just with the Polaroids, the Onyx, and the one that already sold, that'll make all my money back too. So it definitely was a good deal in my opinion. Let me know what you think. And um, I might have more on the back of this. We'll Hey everyone, uh, this is the last part of the haul, hopefully. Um, it's a, I think it's a Duder is how you pronounce it. Kid Comfort 1, like hiking, you know, backpacking type bag for a child. Kind of see in there, there's all the restraints. So this is at a garage sale for 20 bucks. I don't think it's been in any hauls yet, because um, I just got it recently. Um, she wanted 25 bucks, actually, offer 20. It is missing, I think it had like a little thing that would go through these little hoops and kind of make shade for the child. Uh, everything else looks pretty good. I mean, there's some dust and stuff, but honestly, you're going to probably expect that with these things. All the restraints work. Um, if you look at it, I would say it's in very good condition considering. So they said they used it like twice, um, once around town in this little area they were hiking at. And then once they went up uh, to the mountains and, just when they'd go walking out in the woods and stuff, they'd have it with them and uh, put the baby in there. So they really liked it. I picked it up for $20. Um, actually, it's already sold, so I don't know if this video will come out first or the sold will come out first. But it sold for $120 shipped already within one day. So $120 shipped. It is big, obviously. It does fold a little bit down. Um, like these legs kind of come down a little bit. But 
not too much, but even then, um, it's fairly slim, so and very light. We'll bubble wrap it in the big bubble bubble wrap, put it in a box, and we'll probably end up spending 30 to ship it, but we only spent 20 to get it, so that's a really good deal for 120 bucks.